Are you guys ready for this disgusting Halloween look? Because I am. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is trace out where you're gonna have the ripped mouth. So I used a nude pencil for this, so just to work as a guideline because what I'm gonna be applying the silicone product after for molding, um, this is really just to kind of give me a reference of where I want it to be. So to do this look, I am using Creolon Artex. This is a really good silicon gel that hardens and it's really good for making wounds and stuff like that. It's a two component piece, so there's component A and component B that you mix together. You cannot con cross contaminate these in the containers because they will start to solidify. So you want a little workspace to work on and some spatulas just to get the product out and also a little tool that you're gonna use to apply the stuff. So what I did, is get two little spatulas and get each product out separately. Again, do not cross contaminate because it will start solidifying in the jar and you won't be able to use the rest of it. So I got way too much out here on my palette. You definitely don't need to use a lot less because you do have to work quickly. Um, it does start to harden after maybe like I don't know, five minutes or something. So it is something that you do have to work quickly at. So don't get out too much at once like I did. And I'm using the spatula now to kind of apply the product, working it onto my face. And what you can also do is apply this before you do any foundation. Now I did it after my foundation, but I think next time I'll put it underneath my foundation just because it'll make it look more realistic. And what I'm doing is applying it so that there's kind of an edge um, where the wound is supposed to be, like the open wound, and the side, you really want to smooth it down. And this is where I ran into a little difficulty, so I'm going to have to work on my technique for next time because you do want it to be kind of smooth. And as you can see here, the product dried a little bit too fast, so I had to get out a second layer. I'm doing a second layer now just to kind of build up the edges of that wound because I do want it to look like a really deep wound. And what you can also do is use the side of the spatula to kind of loosen the edges and make them look really disgusting and frayed because if you're ripping skin, I imagine that it probably doesn't look very neat and perfect. So I kind of wanted to build it up and make it look really kind of ripped and disgusting looking. And then you definitely need to take some time to let it set. Um, I used a fan on my face just to help it set a bit quicker. And then I used a powder, this is the Ben Nye Neutral set, and just applied that. This is going to mattify and also just make sure that it sets the product. And you really want to just dab that on carefully because you don't want to destroy any of the mold that you created. But at this point, it should be really solid and really dry and it really stays quite well. And then I actually did another mistake. So this is really just like a learning process for me. I put this foundation on after and I realized I should have done this like before I did the rest of my face because it was just really hard to blend it in. Um, but I think in maybe in some cases you might not even need to apply foundation. But I'm going to apply this product by Ben Nye, I believe. It's a monster wheel, I think, or a bruise wheel. I just applied this red cream color into the wound um, so that it's going to work as the base for the sticky blood and all that I'm gonna add later and I wanted to do my lips kind of in a similar color so that it kind of blends in with the lips so it kind of looks like the lips maybe are a little bit bloody too so I just applied this lipstick by Mac in smoked purple onto my lips just using a lip brush so the next product I reach for is Fresh Scratch by Creolon. This is another really unique special effects product. It looks like a really thick, kind of almost dried out strawberry jam. <laughs> Just try and imagine that. So it's basically a really sort of thick texture and it's supposed to look like blood that's dried a little bit and this is really good to work into the wound because it kind of looks like the fleshy stuff. As you can see here, the texture is quite gelatinous, is that a word? <laughs> so it's quite a solid texture. And I have it in two different colors, so I applied the brighter color first, and then on the inner very part, I applied the darker fresh scratch. So it kind of looks like it's going in further, and the darker blood just makes it look like it's receding deep into the wound. And you really just wanna layer that on. And then I used a little bit just on my finger and dab that around the wound to kind of look like dried crusty blood just on the opening of the torn skin. And I also did a little bit of bruising using that bruise wheel again by Ben Nye or the Monster Wheel um, because I definitely wanted to look like kind of infected and just really really gross looking. So I applied that with a sponge. 
And now for the actual stapled look. Now what I did is I just pushed the staples right into that silicone mold because I had built up the wound quite a bit so I could just stick them in. Now if your wound is not very thick and some of them might be falling off like they are with me, um, like at the end, I had to use some duo lash glue. It's a latex based glue that you can also use for like false lashes and stuff and you can just glue them on. And then what I also did is I wanted to look the like the staples are really going into the flesh so I added some black eyeshadow in the entry point so it looks like little holes in the skin where the staples are actually piercing the skin so starting to look a bit more realistic I think and for the final touch I added some fake blood this is again by Creolon and this is a more sort of thinner texture than the fresh scratch but it still has that sort of thick blood texture it's perfect for any kind of Halloween blood that you want to you know, splatter on your face like I'm doing here. I'm using a toothbrush just to kind of do some little blood splatters. And then I also wanted to have a little bit of that blood kind of running down, like if it was seeping out of the wound. So I applied that to the wound and then kind of just let it dribble down. And it's the perfect texture. It really, really looks like blood. And then that's it for the final look. Alright guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was fun for you. This is actually the first time I've done uh, special effects makeup. Um, I've always wanted to try it out and I've just never really, I don't know, I've never really gotten into it. And this year I'm going to be doing a couple special effects looks. This is one of them. And as you can probably tell from the way that I'm speaking right now, this, there's something you gotta know about this look is that it does kind of restrict the movement of your face, obviously, because these pieces here, the Artex, it's basically silicone. So once it dries, um, it kind of feels like stiff, like you've got a piece of tape or something covering. It just feels like, yeah, it feels like tape. It doesn't hurt or anything, obviously. Um, but it does restrict your movement of your mouth area. So if you want it to look like this all night, you have to be kind of careful um, about how, what you're eating, what you're drinking, how much you're laughing, because I'm thinking if you actually laugh, then this is gonna kind of maybe break up. It's honestly not the most comfortable to wear if you're going to like a super long party, but if you just wanna like scare someone or you're going to a party that's maybe not too, too long, um, this is a really cool look and I think it's super effective because it just looks so disgusting and gross. <laughs> Check out all my other Halloween playlists. I'll have them linked right now below. You can see the different categories of all the looks. And if you like this video, remember to give it thumbs up and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you for my next Halloween video. Bye everyone!